And I think I got one. What is going on, Saxon family? I hope you guys are all having a fantastic day today. You got a smile on your face and you're ready for a brand new video. If you're not yet a part of the Saxon family, what are you doing? Smash that subscribe button, turn on post notifications to never miss out on a brand new video. Real quick, I'm gonna do all the shout outs that I normally do later in the videos right now because this is a very serious video and there's a lot of things I wanna discuss and talk about with you guys in this video. So we're gonna start off real quick with the channel membership shout out of the day. It's gonna go to these two wonderful people right here who basically help support me and my channel in return I give them a shout out the link to that be down below in the video description if you want to help support me and the channel itself moving on we got the Twitter shout out of the day it goes to this person right here who retweeted my previous video on my Twitter at Jeff Saxon vlogs by the way also follow me on my Instagram at Jeff Saxon vlogs but if you want a Twitter shout out of the day all you gotta do is go to Twitter and retweet this video as well and then you're entered into the Twitter shout out of the day as you guys can see I am back here in New Jersey I'm no longer in South Carolina and I'm also not in Los Angeles with Jesse for the my virtual escape live show which absolutely stinks and uh, you know I'm here right now at my parents house and I've yet to tell them that I've been fired by Jesse and am no longer working for rigid studios and I don't know how I'm gonna break it to my parents that I've been basically let go from my job because I know in like a month or two I'm not gonna be able to afford to actually pay my rent. I'm gonna need a place to stay. This is honestly gonna be a very difficult video for me to make today due to the fact that the wounds are still open for me with just everything that has transpired the past few days. By now, most of you have probably seen the video on Jesse's channel, you know exactly what I'm talking about, and that is, well, I currently no longer have a job. I am no longer an employee of Bridges Studios. I've been terminated, or a different word, fired from McJargonuggets channel and Bridges Studios, and uh, it, <laughs> It absolutely sucks because I absolutely love that job and I, I loved always holding a camera in my hand and filming for the man that, that somebody I looked up to and what what makes it worse was I just came up on a year anniversary since I left a very good government job making very good money to follow a dream and a passion for working for Jesse that was a dream and then also doing my passion of YouTube and the only thing I got left now is just YouTube itself and I don't, I don't know honestly what to say um, because you know I gave, I gave that up to follow my heart and my dreams. I'm honestly going to try my best not to cry. If you guys saw the video on Jesse's channel, you know that I was a complete emotional wreck, especially just getting the news that I was let go. And uh, it, it's hard to think about somebody that I considered my best friend for the past year um, let me go. It just. It, it honestly hurts and uh, I can see from a business standpoint of why he did it but other than that it, it just it just sucks but in no way am I gonna trash talk Jesse at all in this video I mean he always treated me like gold and he would tell me from time and time again that I legit became his best cameraman. He told me my camera skills were better than Corn. They were better than Parker. With no, in my opinion, no disrespect to them. They were both very talented at what they did. And, uh, you know, he, he just always told me like, hey, you're the best cameraman I've actually ever had. Even though I know you fans love Corn and Parker a lot more than me. And, you know, I know you guys <laughs> absolutely hate me, but just know... I always tried my absolute best for you guys and for Jesse just to make sure the shot that I would get would be the best absolute shot. I'd make sure the video would be really good for you guys and I, I just always tried my best. But I know some fans will never see it like that and uh, at the end of the day I'm okay with that. I mean if you like me, you like me. If you hate me, you hate me. At the end of the day I'm just not going to let that affect me. I know, I know who my real supporters are and I know who the haters are and you know. I'm just done trying to make every single person in my life happy. Because every time I ever try to make everybody happy, I've always just got burnt in the end, no matter what. In all honesty, I'm not going to lie, I messed up when I was that kid behind the camera's house in South Carolina. And uh, that explains why I'm back here in New Jersey at my parents' house. But I do want to explain myself on it. I, I will start off the Fortnite Rage, yes. I got a little, a little too mad about playing Fortnite Battle Royale. I should have been able to control my anger with it from the game. But yet again, every once in a while, my emotions will get the best of me. And then uh, the handcuff prank. 
A lot of you guys were telling me to get Jesse and Michael back for all the embarrassing stuff they made me do in public, which were bets that I lost because I really just wanted the shout outs. And, you know, I, I just was reading your guys' comments and you guys were telling me just do something crazy to get payback on them, which I did. So I, I decided to order handcuffs and handcuff prank both of them. But, you know, I felt bad the next day because I basically ruined AGP's bar birthday party for Michael. And so the next day I just wanted to make it up to Mike and that was basically jump starting because the car wouldn't start jump starting AGP's car. I got it to move, I had it running, and I was going to then go get it washed with a wax and get an oil change, put a new gas filter in, all these different things just to help the car run. If you guys know anything about classic cars, if it's sitting outside for a long time uncovered, it's going to get all this dust and all this stuff built up on it. The car is not going to start, and literally it didn't start, so I had to, I had to work on it. And at the end of the day, my, my heart was in the right place, my attentions were in the right place. I just wanted to make it up to Michael and do something nice for him. But at the end of the day, I guess you could say that I messed up even though I was trying my best to do something right and make up for everything that I did. Just to, you know, help Michael out and just prove to him like, hey, I'm a good guy and I, I want to help out with all this stuff and, you know, do my part living at your house and helping you out. I figured it was the least that I can do was help restore AGP's car. I know that upset a lot of you fans from Kid Behind the Camera's channel. And, uh, you know, it, it goes to the same thing. I mean, what if somebody took my dad's government-issued ID from me right here, my camera would focus, take the ID of my dad and uh, basically destroyed this or did anything to it. I'd be heartbroken, honestly. I mean, it means the world to me. And, you know, that's how Michael feels about the 55 Chevy. And I guess at the end of the day, I'm in the wrong, even though I was just trying my best to help out. But there are some things I do want to say, especially to the fans and all the juggies out there that have supported me uh, when I first came on the channel. I want to just say thank you, especially the fans that support me throughout my virtual escape and, you know, saw the improvement I, I basically got while filming the series. I, I went from always having a shaky hand like that to smooth, steady shots. Uh, but to those fans that always supported me, I just want to say thank you so much. It, it does mean mean the world to me um, that you you took me on to the MJN channel with open arms. I will say this though, so I feel like my impact I left on the MJN channel besides filming my virtual escape is my weight loss journey that I'm going on and I hope I'm able to help at least one person with it that can go out there and actually lose the weight as well and you know that was the goal just if I could help one person but to see the amount of people that I inspired and I'm helping with the weight loss journey to me it, it just it makes me feel like I'm doing some kind of good um, I don't know what the future personally holds for me the other day after getting fired I decided to take my phone out and just write some things down about how I felt and uh, you know I wrote this down and it, to me it's a pretty good quote and I want to read it to you guys and it goes like this it was a crazy ride but in the end all rides must come to an end either happy or sad but never forget how that ride impacted you and honestly I, I hope this crazy ride has had a positive impact on each and every single one of you out there and uh, you know it had a positive impact on me but it just it had a sad ending in the end and uh, I just want to say thank you to all of you out there I just want to say that I will be continuing making content here on my channel for anybody that found me interesting outside of Jesse uh, hopefully moving forward we can do some crazy things some things that are very entertaining for you guys I got big goals now I want to uh, get to the 200k club, I want to hit 500k, and then I want to hit a million, million subs and, you know, maybe 10 million. But those are just streams and we got to work towards them. I just want to say thank you to each and every single person that sat through this whole entire video to hear me out, listen to what I had to say. Just thank you guys so much. Saxon family, just know that I do love each and every single one of you. Remember, you can do anything you put your mind to, and I guess I have to put my mind now to nothing but YouTube and uh, focusing on the future and that includes you guys so thank you guys so much drop a like on it if you enjoyed this video hit that subscribe button turn on post notifications check out all my social medias at jeff saxon vlogs until then i'm gonna log out i'm gonna peace out well pa, 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 pa. peace